Hello guys, uh, let's go ahead with the, the uh, rear bumper modeling uh, and also we will see how modeling the uh, rear skirt we can select uh, all these edges uh, and uh, use uh, the uh, extrude tool uh, to get the uh, thickness Here we have uh, to place better these points. We can uh, use uh, uh, the scale tool also to align the, the points. And now we can select uh, all these phases and uh, we have to extract them and extrude. We can delete uh, all uh, these phases and now in uh, the back view we can start uh, uh, placing uh, the vertex over the uh, line reference We can delete uh, these phases and uh, bring up this vertex. And now we can extrude only this uh, edge and we have to uh, pay attention uh, in the side view and in back view to place better the points And we have to extrude uh, again this, this stage. And now we can select uh, Uh, all these edges and uh, we have to extrude down them we have to check them uh, in uh, back view and side view always And now we can bring down this stage with the extrusion tool. And then we have to continue in this way. We have to snap and merge this vertex. And also we can extrude all these edges. And uh, we have to align them in back view. And now we can extrude the central part of the rear skirt.
and uh, we can uh, take uh, inside the uh, only this vertex but we can add uh, an edge loop and then we can take them inside and also we can create an edge loop for this part We can place the, the edges in this way for now. We will take care for the topology later. can uh, continue this edge loop up to here and here uh, uh, we can delete this edge and uh, we can uh, snap and merge this vertex And now we can select uh, all these edges and we have to extrude them inside. And we have to merge this. And here we can uh, extract these phases uh, to get another piece and extrude it inside. We can add an edge loop here uh, to give more rigidity in this part. And uh, here we can uh, select and extrude these edges. And again. We have to add uh, some edge loop here. To add detail to the shape. Here we can uh, select and delete these phases and uh, add uh, an edge loop here. And for the rear bumper, we have to 
follow the reference line we have to close uh, this part with uh, another edge and also we can add edge loop to add the tail and here we can continue with the edge until the end and we can delete this edge to improve the topology we can add uh, an edge loop here also and uh, we can uh, duplicate the piece and mirror on the x translate axis here we can uh, delete this age and uh, we can continue the age loop this age loop uh, up to here and now we can merge this vertex and delete this edge and we have to create a cage for uh, this part of the rear skirt and select and extrude these phases and also we have to delete these phases and align to the center the vertex here we can delete this uh, edge loop for now and uh, we can uh, add an uh, edge loop with uh, multi-cut tool and also we can pull inside this part And now we have to create an edge loop here to get quad polygon here we uh, can uh, uh, make more uh, uh, smoothness this part we can select this edge and uh, we can use the slide edge tool we can uh, duplicate a mirror these pieces and uh, we have to uh, invert the normal in the normal panel Here we can add an edge loop here to give more 
detail in this part we have to merge the the vertex and also we can add the edge loop uh, to the edge loop here Now we can go ahead with the with the trunk. We have to create the cut with the edge loop and we have to delete the phases. And also we have to add an edge loop here. And now we can select all these phases and uh, delete them here we have to uh, uh, align the vertex with the snap tool and also we can add an edge loop here and we have to continue with the edge loop until the, the end in this way we will give more detail to the shape And also we can add an edge loop here and uh, here. We can place it uh, more close. And also we can delete this and uh, add another edge loop uh, more down. All right, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.